Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Fast Hosts Power Tournament. Bringing you guys live coverage from the group stages. We're watching uh, Lowland Lines play it out versus Team Stealth Assassins Group. And, uh, and uh, for the Italian guys, seems like a pretty epic name. Either way, though, knife is going down at the moment. We do see SOG currently pulling in the lead as they have got the man to the advantage. Although, did knife a teammate? SOG will be getting the knife and they'll be having a choice of sides here on City Streets. So a slight update for everyone, this is the last rounds of the group stages from here on out. It is going to be Le Playoffs, Le 64 teams that will be going forward to play it out. As uh, they will be battling for that £5,000 prize pot. £2,750-odd first place prize. Fantastic in my opinion. But uh, I'm not too queued up on the numbers, so don't quote me on that one. Either way, though, guys, jumping now into the first half of the first map. It will be SAG on defense, Solar Lines on attack, a little quick little rostra. Now, before we get started, as my phone for some of the reason is bugging out of me, throw it on my bed far away. LLL, we have got Pazazu, Senzai, Senior Prophecy, Delru, Veto, and then for SAG, we've got Oddi, Rev, Bullet, Shoes, and Rev. Right here, so Delru getting a nice little carne there onto Shoes, which means I really hope it is Shoes. I'm going to. Feel really bad if it's not shoes. Looks like a bead push coming out here from Lowland Lines. SOG should have the advantage here on the defending side of this map's meta game. Has been changing around quite a bit. It used to be massively defense biased. Then a couple of strat changes made the map pretty even, and I think we're kind of back to the uh, defending biased side. Lowland Lines seem to have gotten the better of the first round, though. First round very much utilized just Explosive for the planted. scouting and kind of plotting of where the enemy is. So I was getting some action up in mid as Bullet tries to push out, although having no cover and not even any action happening at the top of the street as D Delry gets himself another frag. Looking good so far for him. Four man for him in the first round. Fantastic way to start off. If you guys are curious, I am Menace. You guys can check me out on Twitter. I'm at Menace and forward slash MenaceFPS on Facebook. Slip my, just slip my name in there before I completely forget to actually introduce myself. Looks like Lowland Lines are feeling comfortable with another beam push. So they push out. Pazazu moving forward, going through the wooden house. Pulls out the Deagle. He has spotted Damp, but Damp with the AK is going to have a little bit of an advantage. Pazazu is going to be kind of upset with his Deagle work there as Senor Prophecy is moving forward. Prophecy very famous for his Prophecy Chicken in Minecraft. Coming in a little bit of fire using that M4. A gun not so often seen. Yet I do find it one of the better assault weapons that is available to the players. We'll see him grab the frag here onto Rev, pulls out the Deagle, tries to land the last couple of shots there onto Adi, but Adi with an AK gets the advantage. Senzai, Senzaj, one of the two. I know it's one of the two. I'm pretty sure it's Senzai. Well, here is teammate planting over towards the A arch or the A bomb site. Prophecy runs away, going to get himself some cover. He shouldn't have too much issue, especially with his teammate. They're right behind him. Watches in a pixel wide gap towards that A arch, and he was actually looking in the right place, trying to have an angle where he can co we can cover both of those spots. His teammate Senzai right behind the car park. We go we'll see Prophecy take out Oddie. It's going to take it to 2-0. Seems like SAG is just struggling to get into this defending mood. As we have Vader with a nice little fast spawn. If you guys were wondering, well, why is Minas solo costing again? Well, unfortunately, I had a co-commentator drop me on this match. But no worries. Not to worry. I shall not. Hopefully shall not fail you guys with a cover. Deagle out for Vato. It seems that the whole of Lowland Lions definitely know how to use their secondary weapon. It's such a vital weapon in this game. We, um, I've seen game changes coming down to the pistol. I do see a nade landing there on Prophecy. Vates is going to go back. Going to go try and get that bomb down once again. It is currently a 2-on-2. Two two. There's a little bit of hope in here. This one for SAG. Delra is watching the bank, which means he's not covering the top of the street where Oddi is. And with that scope, might be able to get a pick onto the player on the bomb. Delru has... Sorry, Vates has gotten himself out of the sticky little situation there. As Rev continues to push forward. And if you relay that back to his teammate, peeks around the corner, finds a shot onto Del Rue. 
Delru not actually paying that much attention. Vayton now your last man standing. If they have one player on the bomb trying to defuse it, while the other one tries to watch the back. Oh, but Rev spots Vayto, takes him out. Fantastic stuff from Va Rev to bring back that round. My word. Quick reactions from him, and Lola Line's really just being caught off guard there. And that'll mean we'll be seeing a 2 1 scoreline as. Senzai is yet to frag, and that's odd from a, from a scope of this caliber. I definitely would have expected him to get a frag by now. In three rounds, let's give him a little bit of coverage, see if it maybe gives him some some motivation. He has spotted a player pushing up at the car park. His teammate will go down. Comes under some fire, but lands a shot there onto Rev. He knows there's another player just in front of him, but that player's actually run up far away by now. And with Senzai moving forward, he knows where the bomb is. Going to go pick that one up. That one up. Grab himself an AK. For some extra help, but SAG, man to the advantage. Senzai trying to move around the corner. Spots a player towards the flower stand. And who is that? That's actually Shoes, but he won't. He shouldn't peek out. He's got to be very careful to his left hand side. He needs to look now. Unfortunately, not doing so. Senor Prophecy will take him out. And it looks like they're just trying to secure the bomb side at the moment. Moving forward, they've got no cover from Car Park, but SAG have not been. All that aggressive, so it's unlikely that they would have flanked around just yet. Oddie with a nice nade there onto Senzai. And this means that Prophecy is the last man standing. He rushes down the A stairs. I think he heard the play actually pushing out into market. And now trying to find that frag. He's got 30 seconds to work with. Damn coming in from... Oh, sorry. Standing at the top of the wall, though. Will take him out to push it to 2-2. Two -two. SG coming back brilliantly in the defense so far. Pizarro also mad not to get any frags. I don't know what's up with this... It's Lowland Lions team tonight. Where Where is Pazazu? There we go. I went over him. Apologies. Currently on two assists, but no frags. Let's see if that can change from this round. He's in a very good position. Nade out onto the Windows building. Don't know if his position was called from mid. He actually spotted a player there in market. And one of his frags has been stolen away from him by Senzai. Lowland Lions moving in onto the bomb site. Fire going out onto the bomb. And the bomb plant is actually prevented. Pazazu's got a player there off to his right hand side. It is Oddi. Oddi goes down. Of course, now his position is known, and he's got to stay back in this building. He can't really peek out. She's pushing all the way around. He hasn't spotted Senzai to his right-hand side. What are you doing? It's actually Del Rue. Del Rue sitting far back. And there we go. Good deep. Sorry, good attacking strat there from Leland Lions. Del Rue sitting in very deep in that car park. Very well played from him. Very disciplined. And uh, currently sitting on nine frags. Not one that uh, you see that often so early on in the game. So definitely got to keep an eye on him. As a... Uh, Damp is not going to be the man trying to protect this B push from the Lowland Lion side. Looks like it is slightly undecided at the moment. Looks like we've got a couple more players towards mid though. As uh, some engagements happen around mid. Shoes drops to Pizalz's SMG. As Vayta nice tries to move forward with his desert camo. I think it's desert camo. Either way, it's a camo. Sends up with a the shot there onto Rev. And at the moment, SHG are crumbling under the attacking power that is Lowland Lions. Vayta in a good mid position to take out Damp as the Damp does take out Pizazu. And now Oddi's your last man standing scope for the SAG side. He is currently pushing through mid. Nice little bounce there, but unfortunately he's not got the momentum to go forward here. Prophecy comes in from behind, takes him out. And this will mean that currently Lowland Lions hold on to that lead at two. Sorry, at the round lead at two. It's supposed to be the end of the sentence, not the midpoint of the sentence. Silly me. Denzel is seeming comfortable with his peaks onto metal, though rain of bullets coming in through that smoke. He's definitely going to try and get out of that one. Of course, they've got to watch out for the nades over onto B. Bullet has spotted someone moving down those stairs. And taking this one very slowly. He does not want to die in this situation. He's got a very good spot here to defend the B bomb side. Pulls out the Deagles, already taken out Veto. Now, heavier fire coming in. Prophecy actually with a nade. Trust him to have some of the geek nade to take out a play just behind the fence in that very spot. And now Pazazu pushing up the top of the street, clearing out the top of the road there. Bomb has been dropped on that B bomb site, although with the man advantage, Lola Lines should be able to get this bomb down ooh, relatively easily, although she's disrupting it. And now Del Rue having to go back and take out the player. Oddi's last man standing. He is towards the top of the street. Fire coming in towards him with an AK and SMG. Sorry, AK and scope in hand. Tries to land a shot there onto the top of the wooden stairs, although no one's actually there. He's coming under fire here from Senzai with that M4. It's actually a very good weapon in that position. Lovely little gap there, spotting right through the broken ruins of that car. What is left of that car? 
Once again, getting himself a round lead. Now, this style will be played on Ambassador 3 if you guys are new to this format. So, first team to 13 will be taking a map point. And then, of course, the first team with two map points will be taking the win. Now, with Pizzazu once again pushing over towards that B side. It seems like Lola Lions have found their attacking strength. At the B bomb side, they've got the majority of their bombs down. The Pizzazu just ravaging his way up the street, grabs himself a frag onto Adi. There's one player towards the uh, laundry area. It is damp, does take out Senzai before being gunned down there by Prophecy, and that'll take it to 6-2. Rounds just falling in the way of Lola Lions at the moment. Pizzazu is saying he needs more assists. <laughs> Sitting on five assists. Wow. That is a lot of assists, as he points out. It's not that often you will find that many assists coming out from... Is he an SMG? I'm pretty sure he's an SMG. Zazu, yes, he's an SMG. Just making sure. And now with Zazu trying to move out this wooden area. Taking it slow, spots a couple of players in front of him, but Bullet takes up Pazazu. Very interesting positions from SAG, sitting very aggressively, actually trying to catch off the uh, Lowland Lions players as they push out, and it seemed to work in their favor at the moment. Shoes coming in from behind, a Deagle into Delru's back, and this means that Senor Prophecy is your last man standing with a bomb and SMG. Moves forward into the laundry, takes out Damp, only has one more player to find that is Shoes. Although Shoes not, is not falling for this bait. He knows he doesn't need to go attacking. Oh, but they're going to be walking right past each other. Prophecy looking into market does not spot Shoes. And Shoes, of course, is watching towards the B arch. Needs to definitely have no idea where the other player is. Prophecy moves forward onto the B arch. Carries on towards the top of the street. These two players seem to be primed to walk right into each other. Prophecy coming out on top, though. That'll take it to 7-2. Really good re oh sorry, great reactions there from Prophecy getting that first couple of shots off. Actually stealing the lead away on the kills from Delru on 13 for 3. Gets himself a couple more deaths and a couple more kill sorry, a couple more assists and will have himself on 1337. Well I'm probably the only person that cares about that. Pizzazana once again pushing in forward through this wood and it seems that he's using the same attacking pattern. There's not much SOG are doing to stop this one. He has spotted a play behind those bins. It is Shoes and he's been heavily tagged up. Pizzazu re peeking back. Takes out Shoes. He turns around. The smoke at the top of the street will mean he's able to push forward into the biotch and clear out. Although his teammates towards the top of the ruins market will actually mean that looking into the biotch is rather ineffective as uh, his teammate would have had to do the same to get into the position he was. Bullet coming in from behind. Spots Dalru takes him out in the wooden building. Although he's still got three more players to find. Now able to pick up an AK, although 34 seconds left on the clock. This is definitely a task and a half to try and complete. I don't know if you'll actually be able to do this one. Spray coming in. I believe that is from Prozazu. Probably just as some form of baiting. Some form of just trying to distract him. Bullet standing still there for a moment. I don't know what he was doing. But uh, Senzai with the final shot there into Bullet. Takes him out and that's going to be 8-2. Looking at the six round difference now now. If SAG want anything to do with this half, they need to get the next two rounds. At least put themselves up for an 8-4 halftime. And this is kind of one of those things where, you know, no matter how much I sugarcoat it and say I want SAG to win this one, it is a very difficult to task, uh, difficult task to come back from this one. Especially with this massive round difference. Oddie has spotted someone there on Wooden. There's three players on the B side here for SAG. They actually have no mid defense and only two players towards A. Bullet trying to push forward. He's got a player off to his left-hand side. I don't think he's expecting it. And it's actually on top of the market. It's Dalru with his AK playing a very aggressive position. And uh, he'll grab the frag there onto Bullet. With a 4-on-4 four four on our hands. 45 seconds into the round here. It looks pretty slow at the moment. Although with Vayta taking our shoes. Prophecy baiting on their bomb. He's now learned that, wait a minute, these guys actually know a couple of nades for the bomb. And uh, now deciding that it is clear. Fakes it once more backs off, hoping that he wasn't predicted for it to be a fake, and the nade being held for later points in the round. Although, Prophecy, once again, just seems he's, he seems really nervous about planting this bomb. And uh, finally does go in to try and get this bomb down. Explosives two versus four here. Oddie and Rev, last two standing. Oddie trying to push through this mid-market area. And uh, 
with his scope in a very difficult situation. Misses the first shot there onto Pizzazzi and will be punished for it. Pizzazzi picks up the AK that Oddie hand dropped and finishes off the final player. 9 2 is the scoreline. One round left in the half. And this will pretty much determine who's going to be taking this map, I believe. If it goes 10 2, then Nolan Lions pretty much a sealed deal for them at the moment. Although SAG have been winning all their group games rather convincingly, and of course this being the final game up against the higher seed. Zazu rushing through mid, takes out. Ooh, one nearly two, pulls out the deagle. Can he finish off the second prank onto B Market? Decides to throw a nade vertically, although finishes damp off through the window. Fantastic stuff there. She's trying to push it from the heart of the market. Vader's moving up onto the stairs here by Flowers. And it does take him out. Pizzazz now rotating towards the A side. Shoes coming in from behind onto the market, although giving away his position, unfortunately. And that'll be Senor Prophecy to finish off the half. I do not know why I talk in this accent whenever I say Senor Prophecy, but it is very satisfying to talk like this. So, second half here as we move on into the first map, second half, of course. This will mean that uh, if SAG lose this round, sorry, or lose this map, they will still have another chance to bring it back on a map of their choice as the losers of the first map are the ones that get choice of the second map, which I think is a brilliant format. It gives them some chance to redeem themselves. Of course, if Lola Lions were there to lose the second map, they have got a chance for a third map, and that's the whole point of a best of three. So you'll have the majority of three games to take the win. Pizzazzo here being very aggressive on the defending side, actually standing on top of cars, pretty much exposing himself nearly on a podium. And uh, with bullets flying out from wood and feels confident that his flash connected, peeks out towards the B alley area, although Senor Prophecy helping his teammate out. Takes out bullet. Your last man standing is damp before you can even switch over to him. He does go down. Very aggressive play here from Lowland Lines on the defending side. I think they're feeling very comfortable at this point in time. Although I would also, if I knew I had quite a couple of rounds to throw away, Delray going to be playing the SMG over on B side. Lovely lad here has got experience all the way back in the days of Dignitas. I say the days of Dignitas. Dignitas is still around back in the days when the team Dignitas were the shiznit. And we go Delry with four frags. Every single player so far dropping in front of Delru's gun. Can he pick up the fifth? He's right behind him. He's got to be very careful. Bullets flying out here. No, he can't. Grabs the ace for the final round. That'll now at least force a tie out of SAG. And uh, unfortunately, this means that SAG have got to win every single round from here on out just for a tie. Which, like I said, at this point in time against Lowland Lions being this aggressive, Pizzazz is rushing over mid. Dalru is also pushing up through the stairs and he'll be able to grab a frag there onto Damp. Now Pizzazz is just going to instead fall back over to B. Shoes trying to move over towards A, try to salvage something of an attack. Oddie with a deagle there onto Delru. Pizzazz takes out Oddie though for the reply. Vato sitting on mid stairs. Rev is your last man standing and not in a very good position. Four players still alive here for Lola and Lions. Bomb is in the hand of Rev to make his life just that slight bit easier. Although I don't think it is going to go his way at the moment. It takes out Pizzazz as a start. And as much as I talk this man down in the situation, he could prove me wrong. Takes out Senzai. Unfortunately, Senor Prophecy coming in for the final one. And that's going to mean a good half for the first map. As a 13-2. Wow, that's that's a big, a big one. Either way, though, guys, that was the coverage of the first map here from Quad V. I am Menace, of course. If you guys want to follow me, check me out at, at Menace on Twitter, forward slash Menace FPS on Facebook. Of course, check out quadv.com for our schedule and all the live stuff. If you guys want to go check out any of our videos on demand, uh, you guys can go check out the bottom right inside there on YouTube, Quad V TV. But for now, first map coverage is done.